are you doing? Putting my hands in pH 7 liquid. 7? That's yeah. not too high. That's uh, a lot bigger uh, than like 0 or 1. I know. Or... I'd be much... Well, I think I should... Ah, look at my hand. It's like... It's like wet. Clean. You know what? Here. Oh. I, th I thought pH like 1 was good and 7 was bad. No. Because it's like a scale from 0 to 14. So it's like uh -huh. 7 should be really bad. No, 7 is the middle. The middle? Middle. Well, then it should be... The middle. Still the middle. I mean, yeah. is the middle better or worse? Uh, the middle is the middle. Middle is water. Oh, so it's yeah. just water. You see, today we're going to tell you, going to talk about pH and POH. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. And we're going to actually learn that the extremes of the pH scale, 0 and 14, right. are bad. Yes. The middle, 7. Yes. So just because the number is higher doesn't make it... Worse. Better or worse. Yeah, my son is hilarious. He's four and a half. Four and a half, yeah. And he thinks Not that... Not seven. No, no, no. Four and a half. He thinks that if something has a bigger number, it's it's better. So, like, he has a little race car that has a nine on it, and he has a little Lightning McQueen with a 95, and Lightning McQueen always has to win because his number is 95, and 95 is bigger than nine. So well, that's what I was thinking. Obviously, it has to yeah. be bigger and stronger. There you go. Okay, so, hey, we have a pH scale, okay? So if you look at the pH scale, if you've got a zero, um, uh, that's not good. That's like battery acid, actually, yeah, less than battery less acid. Less than battery acid. And then lemon juice is two and a half, it looks like. Vinegar is three, milk yep. is six. The so, neutral yeah. water, yeah, that's out. Right there at seven. But then you get to nasty stuff up at 14 in junk. Yeah. That's really bad. Nice, sodium hydroxide solution. Drain yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so so zero, very low pH. You can even have negative pH. Yes, you and can. And we're talking really concentrated acids yeah, that yeah, yeah. you want to be very, very careful Don't mess with. with that stuff. And then really high pH, we're talking really, really strong bases. You want to be very careful with those things as well. And so, the closer you get to seven, the closer you're out of water. Yeah. So the middle of the road is good for pHs. Yeah. All right. pH, you probably have heard of pH. Clean up your mess here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the pH, you've understand pH before, but here's the key thing. pH is actually a mathematical equation. And so you need to write down this mathematic. pH is actually the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So log, what the heck is a log? Logarithm. It's a logarithm. Now, if you don't know what a logarithm is, it doesn't have, matter. Yeah, because it's like a button on your calculator. It is. That's so, how we're going to use it in here. Yeah, but I mean, there is important things to understand about logarithms and mathematics. And if you haven't gotten the logs, uh, there's a button that says log on your calculator. So mm -hmm. it's actually a base ten thing. We should probably briefly say one thing. If you go from a one to two to three on a logarithmic scale, this would be like, let's say this is a one. Two is actually 10 times more. Yep. A three is 100 times more. Yeah. A four is 1,000 times more. And actually, since this is a negative log, it's actually kind of the reverse. Yep. It's like this is um, one, and this is 10. This is 100, and this is 1,000. Yeah. So because it's a negative log, it goes kind of backwards. Yeah. So, so. You know, we just had a, there was just an earthquake yesterday yeah, actually, um, down call, in yeah. uh, Baja, Mexico. Which was a 7.2, 7 maybe? 7 yeah. yeah. Uh, now, an earthquake that's a 6 and an earthquake that's a 7. Say 6.2. Okay, 6.2 and 7.2. That's actually 10 times stronger. The 7.2 is 10 times stronger than the 6.2. That's right. Because it's a logarithmic scale, so, the Richter scale is. Okay, yeah. Actually, Mr. Sams, um, it's not actually 10 times stronger. No. But in, in the earthquake world, um, they play the game a little bit different. It's still logarithmic, but actually for each factor, it's 32 times more. Oh. I didn't know that until I was teaching you on uh, earthquakes just I, this and, year. And I don't teach earth science. And I'm a I actually chemist. know very little about earth science. Yeah, so <laughs> I was uh, learning that. Hey, cool. this is a I whole stand corrected. bunch of equations. Yeah. Hit pause, yeah, print you, this, yeah, this, and or write them down. Yeah, write them down in your comp book. These are like critical to understand how to do all this By the stuff. way, if you're watching this in, in QuickTime, if you go hit pause and go to File, Print, it yeah. will print that picture that's printed. That's right, correct. That's right there. And so you can print that out and paste it in your comp book. And we're going to use these big time a lot. in just a minute. So yep. pause, pause, pause. Okay, we're back. Unpaused. All right, so let's take a look. This is kind of the key thing we want to learn mm -hmm. in this podcast, is if you have... Now, actually, we should talk about this brackets. When I say brackets around H positive, we kind of learn this in Unit 9. Yeah. Um, that means concentration, and that's in units of molarity. Yes. So if I have a concentration... Now, these are, do not have units. pH, by the way, has no, no units. No unit. No units on pH. Now, to do this, folks, we're going to need to get our calculators out. Okay. So everybody needs to get their calculators out, and then we're going to start working with this particular table and we're going to fill it in. So we're going to use this table and these equations and your calculator to make this all work. Okay, so everybody get your calculator out. So let's do this first one, Mr. Sams. Okay. We have this first one. Here it is. Uh, you get the pin on. Um, and we've got a, a hydrogen concentration of 2.3 times 10 to the minus third. So okay. I'm going to just get a blank screen here. So my concentration of my hydrogen 
is 2.3 times 10 to the minus third molar. Okay, what should we look for first? Doesn't well, matter. no, but you know, if you're given the hydrogen concentration, Pretty I would go to back to that equation. The equation I would use would be this first equation here. Since I have the hydrogen concentration, I can just plug this equation into my calculator. Okay. So I'll say, you know, pH equals negative log of 2.3 times 10 to the minus third. So here on my calculator, now you see the log button is here, kind of the fourth button up. So I have to push the negative. Now, important thing, there's a subtract button right here and a negative button yep, right here. Want the negative. It's the negative button. So I'll put negative log, and now I'm just puts a parenthesis right here. And now I'm going to type in the number, 2.3. Now, don't forget, of course, if you have an exponential number, you have to use the second function, double E button, and negative 3. Close your parentheses. Notice how this over here looks just like this over here, except for the little E thing. And then I'm going to push Enter, and I get a pH of 2.64. 2.64. So that's the pH. So okay. now I can go back to my table guy and I can say my pH is 2.64. Okay. All right. Now there's something called the hydroxide concentration mm -hmm. and also the pOH. So let's, let's take a look here. Yeah. Now the pOH, the, actually the equation I like the best when we go to this stage, mm -hmm. this is like super easy, the last one, yeah. is pH plus pOH is 14. Always and forever. So if I say uh, pH, I'll rewrite it, but I didn't get it yet, plus pOH is 14. I already know that this number, pH, is 2.64. Mm -hmm. So that is simply 14 minus 2.64, right? Yep. And technically, I mean, uh, sig figs, yeah, that's 14.0. 14. So I'll just say 14 minus 2.64, and I get a pOH of 11.6, or 3.6. And so let's put that back in my table. So this is 11.3, nope. oh pardon me, yeah you're right, 11.36. And then my hydroxide concentration, I have to now find another equation to help myself out. Okay. Now the hydroxide concentration, here is an equation that gives me the hydroxide concentration. It is 10 to the power of the negative pOH. Okay. So if I say 10 to the power of the negative and the pOH here is 11.36, 11.36, that will give my answer. So I'm going to use, you see right there's this button, 10 to the x. It's actually the second function of the log button. There's mm -hmm. a couple of ways to do this, but I think I'll teach them this sure. way. Second function, 10, see it's got 10 to the power, and I'm going to negative, don't push the subtract button, 11.36, close parentheses, and I get an answer. Notice it's got that E in there, mm -hmm. and I get 4.37 times 10 to the minus 12. And that's the number that's going to go in my chart. And that's, uh, here it is, 4.37 times 10 to the minus 12. Now there's